the green too. I have had too much mascara on the bottom, you look like an evil spider. Green evil spider. Hi guys, it's Beatty. Today I created this Christmas look. If you would like to see how I did it, please keep watching. I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm using an eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to use this green eyeshadow. So I'm just going to start by packing this eyeshadow all over the eyelid. And I'm going to take it up in the crease as well. To really make sure that it's in between the lashes also. I'm also taking this eyeshadow on the tip of the brush and I'm just going to run it underneath the eye. Now I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that shadow on a blending brush and start blending this line out. And the reason why I'm taking a tiny bit of the eyeshadow with the brush and not using it clean is just because this shadow is so dark it's easier to blend it with a little bit of the eyeshadow on your brush. It's gonna make the transition easier. Just make sure you didn't add the eyeshadow really high up initially because then you won't be able to blend it or you will blend it but up to the eyebrow and we don't want that. Unless you do want that look like Grinch for Christmas. So as you notice, this eyeshadow has a lot of black in it and a lot of emerald shades do. So it, as I blend it up, it creates almost like a dark outline, which is what we want because it's going to give definition to the look as well. Don't forget about the outside corner as well. And for underneath, I'm just taking a clean pencil brush and just blending that a little bit out. I don't want this green underneath to run very low on the eye, so I'm not using any extra green. And I would recommend to add the color first on both eyes and then blend it on both eyes at the same time. Just because if you have this eye blended and it's already um, so high up on the eye you might add too much on the other eye and then when you try to blend it it will just go higher than you wanted it to so do as I say not as I do as always so shades like this create a lot of fallout so I'm going to take it off with some cotton round and bioderma now I'm going to prime my face with pore filling primer and I'm just smoothing this on wherever there's large pores. Remember not to rub it in, you should just smooth it on to fill in those pores, but not rub it in because then you will just spread evenly across the face and still dig into your pores rather than just fill them. I'm going to use full coverage foundation for this look. I want a very flawless look for the skin. So I'm going to go in with the brush and I'm going to really work it into the skin. You need the foundation to become a part of your skin. Foundation doesn't have to cover all your imperfections. It's just supposed to even out the skin as much as possible, but still to look quite natural on the face. That will give you the best effect if you just use your foundation sparingly but really work it into the skin and then wherever you need to you can cover with a bit more so i'm going to go in with a smaller brush wherever i need to add a little more foundation and if your foundation will not cover it you can use some concealer this foundation is very full coverage so that's why i'm able to do it just with the foundation. Now I'm going to use some under eye concealer and with dark eyeshadows it's good if you go into that corner as well to brighten with your under eye concealer. I'm going to set the makeup with um, some powder so I'm just setting the t-zone because this foundation is quite matte anyways but I just want to set the t-zone not to get 
oily throughout the day. And also I'm going to take a smaller brush and just set under the eyes. You need to be careful with that also because the under eyes can look really really dry if you um, add too much powder. Now I'm going to do the lips first before I finish off the eyes because I haven't decided yet if I'm going to add some black in a waterline and which lashes I will add. Uh, so I want to throw in the lips first because lips are dark color also. So it's good to first put that color on and then assess how much more makeup do you need on the eyes. So I'm using a lip liner first. I think I want to make the lip shape like a triangle Cupid's bows. Cupid's bows? Cupid's bows. <laughs> So if you use short strokes and go very slowly, little at a time, it will be much easier to um, get the shape that you want and then correct the shape. Because if I would just draw a straight line really fast, then it might be completely not what I want for this look. And you have to erase it, you have to take off the whole foundation. And when I'm trying to draw a specific shape on the lips, I always like to fill it in with the liner. You can put a thin layer of lipstick first as well. As you fill it in, you have a better idea of where this shape is going and how you want to finish up. Okay, so this is the shape that I'm going for. And now I'm going to add the lipstick. So I'm just going to add it straight from the bullet. But then I need to grab a lip brush for the outline because since I spent so much time on creating a specific shape for the lips, I don't want to just go over with the lipstick and mess it up. So I'm not going all the way to the edges where the liner is, just because the liner will keep the lipstick on for longer than if it would be just a lipstick on its own. And I definitely don't have perfect lips, so putting on the red lip when I want it looking perfect, it just takes me ages. But normally I just add a red lip and then I just, you know, give up on the rest of the makeup and just add a shiny, sparkly shadow and lashes, but not this time. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm going to add some fluffy lashes as well. If you would like to know how to apply false lashes, I do have a very in-depth video about that and I will link it for you in the end. Now that my lashes are on, I think I need a little bit more definition on the corners here. Just because you see that waterline and kind of looks out of place right now. So I'm going to take black gel liner and a tiny liner brush and I'm just going to add this black in between my lashes. I don't want to add too much but I just want to add enough to lose that lightness there and just get definition instead. So I added it like halfway through the waterline and I think it looks better now. I'm just going to use eyebrow pencil and this is the fiber pencil. I'm just going to add a little definition because there's so much makeup everywhere else. I don't want to add too much on the eyebrows as well. And I'm just going to use eyebrow gel as well. Just want to break them up a bit. I think once the eyebrows are gelled and just filled in a tad, this look gains a little bit more modern quality. Whether as if I would add a very heavy brow to this, it would look very dated. And now for contouring, I'm going to use this palette. So I'm just using the tiniest bit of contour. And I'm going to use the highlight from that palette as well. I like this highlight because it's not very strong, so for this look it will work perfectly because everything else is really strong, so I don't want to add strong highlight as well and then just be a disco ball. That happens. I picked up some of that highlight on a small pencil brush as well. Just going to add it 
into the corner of the eye. Very subtle difference, but it kind of finishes off everything. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. For more makeup tutorials and more Christmas and New Year's Eve looks, please subscribe to my channel.